Welcome to Sklabina Castle, a workaway in the middle of the High Fortress, the middle of Slovakia. We got picked up by Michal and Susan in Vrutki, a small town about a 20 minute car ride from this castle. When we got to the castle, we met John, who had become a huge part of our experience. The views and the animals shocked us, but even more, the small tour of the castle was something we'd never forget. walking up to what's gonna be a rebuilt prison and when we were building the castle that's where we would get sand to build the mortar? Mortar? The mortar. Yeah. I don't and know. The reason it's we gotta get it from there is that's the sand that's actually used like in the castle. It's not random new sand. Yeah so we'll show you when we get up there. So yesterday when it wasn't raining, we built this part of the castle. So now me and Luca can say, we built the castle. All this, we did. With some help, of course. First mentioned in 1242, this castle has been passed through many generations of kings and queens, and juggled between many kingdoms at that. To name a few, Hungarian, Austrian, Slovakian, Serbian, Croatian, French thrones once held this land, although the Revai family from northern Serbia and Hungary were the main holders for the longest period of time, roughly 600 years. Going on from the early 1200s to World War II in 1944, this castle was never a place where a king would live, but rather one of the many castles that said king would visit and sleep over in through his transit. It's said that many famous people throughout history have passed through here and slept here. Bombed by Nazis in World War II to the point of almost complete destruction, a UNESCO-related organization called the Donjon or Donjon Association purchased the land in the year 2000 in attempts to rebuild it, the medieval way. They've since relied on the help of volunteers such as us to come in and stone by stone reconstruct this castle to its former glory. And let me tell you, since 2010, they've reconstructed it a lot. The people who welcomed us, Michael and John, have been working here for quite some time. Michael devoting 28 years of his life, while John a measly only four. Either way, they look like some insane Vikings and they have really cool hair. In this clip right here, we can see what the castle looks like today, and a couple of photos of the reconstruction in 2000 right there, 2000 as well I think, and what it's supposed to look like in a perfect world when it's completely reconstructed. If you ask Luca, this was his least favorite part, milking the goats. But that's only because he's not a professional. Me, I loved it. Don't get me wrong, it's very hard, to the point where I got blisters for milking them. But it was probably the highlight of my day and of my stay there, including shoveling their poop. Not for Luca, he threw up. Here's me, shoveling some goat poop. This was after we milked them. Um, I never shoveled it right before. That was Michal's job because there was a lot, but he did let me shovel after we milked them. Very nice of him, I really enjoyed it. Here's the kitchen where we would make breakfast and where they would make goat cheese. We never actually got to see the full process of making the goat cheese, but we did get to see a little bit of the start because it starts right after we milk them. We also got to taste it, which I'm not the biggest fan, but Luca loved it, and we got to smell it. FYI, it is not a good smell in the kitchen when there is goat cheese being made. Also for breakfast, we would always eat cheese and ham on bread, and they were very strict about how much cheese went on the bread, how many lines of the cream cheese were on the bread. So now we know. So 
task for today because it's raining the whole two weeks. We won't be able to work on the castle. We've got a, we already moved all of that wood, which is right there. Now we have to move this wood over there to be able to move that wood over there to be able to move those pipes out of nowhere. Huh? Are you feeling better? Uh, I guess, yeah. Yeah, this genuinely will help. It's warm water with lemon and like medicine. Yeah, but I don't know. If it's we were able to sneak a little tour of parts of the house. Here is where you entered, and you could either go to the right upstairs, which is where we slept, to the left, which is where the museum was, straight towards the kitchen, or downstairs, where were the bathrooms that we used, and there was a shower down there. The steps are all cement and hard to walk on, heating is only on when absolutely needed, and we were to be very careful with the amount of water we used. This shows you it's definitely an older house and definitely an older area to sleep in. It's definitely something you have to get used to being in, especially considering it's right beside the goats. But it was a very authentic experience and in an odd way it gave off a very homey feel. When Michal gave us a tour the first night, he also told us that they have a sauna in the basement, but me and Luca never used it. I don't know why. We should have taken advantage of that. Anyways, when you went upstairs, to the right was John's room, and it was actually a very big room. We got to see it. He has um, a living room and areas where they sell their soaps, and then he has his bedroom, and his dogs and cats sleep up there as well. And then this is kind of where all the volunteers stay. Our door was one of the first. So when you go inside, you can see there's two beds. But Tarlock, when you went up those stairs, there was another bed up there as well. And that one was more comfortable and we felt safer on that one. So that's the one we slept at. And our view was great. And that's that. After three nights and four days, we decided to leave and make our way to Poland, which is where you guys will see us next. It was definitely an amazing experience. Milk and goats was my favorite part, Luca. Probably making the mortar and actually rebuilding the castle is what I really loved. We're very different in what we like there. Yeah, but, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we're going to try to start uploading more frequently. <laughs> we'll do our best. And you guys should always all stay at a castle and rebuild the castle and milk goats and eat goat cheese. That's what you take away from this video. It's See you next time. <laughs>